All right, people, Catfish Dave here. Last video I made, I found my thrill on Melton Hill. Well, if I found my thrill once, I'm going to try it again. Some place treats you decent. You might as well go back to that same spot. Over in Fort Loudon, I haven't been catching a lot. So I figured I'd set up right here. Same thing, fresh skipjack. This time I've actually got a rod holder on the right side of my boat. I'm high tech now, waiting for this current, which there isn't a lot, but I'm waiting it for to settle my boat here. Then we're going to drop these baits. Last time I was here, it was an early bite. It's probably going to be the same thing tonight. They're shutting the gates off at 9, so we'll see what happens this time. Right off a ledge, right outside a creek, uh, there's a type of hump that sticks out off that ledge. Let's get some baits in the water. Looky here, there's a guy that catches bigger fish than Dieter Melhorn. <laughs> well, that could be anybody out here, couldn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ain't none of us using chicken either. <laughs> no, we ain't using chicken tonight. <laughs> oh, hey, he'll love that. <laughs> <laughs> he'll say he don't watch it, but we know he does. Yeah, man, there's some dude, he was, he was shooting last night. And he was shooting tonight, and I could actually hear something hitting the other side of the bank over there really? about three times. I hollered and he quit. Huh. But he was doing it last night. Sounds like, sounds like a 22 or something, but you still don't want to get hit with that. Right. Yeah. No, I heard it slap, slap, slap something on the other bank. I mean, you got a lot of trees behind you. You'd probably be all right. Yeah, I'm out here, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Well, good luck. Yeah, you too. We'll see what happens tonight. I'm looking for that big bite. Fort Loudon used to be one of the best lakes in the south. But right now, I can't find a fish that wants to put a bait in his mouth. So I came on over here to Melton Hill, and I'm hoping that these catfish will. We still got the pleasure boaters cruising around. That should slow down here pretty quickly. Time is 5.14. It's gonna be dark in about 30 minutes. Prime time. Tonight's catfish dinner, a tuna fish sandwich. It's a loud place to try and fish, man. Gosh. It must be the Civil War out here. They shooting on both sides of the hall around here. Ain't no one join a tuna fish sandwich in peace around here. I don't know if these fish are going to bite or not with all that going on. 
gosh. Dang it. Ain't no peace out here, that's for sure, men. I'll be glad when it gets dark. Man, this sucks. Man, this sucks. I'm fixed to start firing up that mother way here in a minute. I'm waiting on some old fish to bite. No, I got skipped yet. I hope they ain't gun shy. After World War III taking place just to my left, I'd say these flatheads are spooked out. Hopefully not. There ain't been no shots fired in about 10 minutes. Hopefully the war is over. I'm gonna get on my green jacket. I do believe the war is over. That could have been Dieter Melhorn shooting at me after that comment I made. If nothing happens here in an hour, and it's prime time for something to happen, I'm gonna move up and fish up in a creek. I like this spot first. It's nice and deep. I don't know about y'all, but I got tired of hearing that shooting. I'm sure those catfish did too. I'm gonna celebrate the end of the war by eating a Hostess chocolate donut. Maybe I'll eat three. It's 6.36 and I ain't had a peep on these rods. Wondering if they're spooked or if they was all killed off during the war. Once you shoot a fish, they're not going to bite good after that. I'm in a good spot. The bite just ain't hot. If I ain't got jack squat by 7.30, I'm going to sneak up on into the creek. Fishing videos without fish are lacking content and they can hurt your views over time. Maybe they're all just hiding in fright and it's gonna be a later bite. One thing about it, I don't have all night. It is Sunday night and I've gotta work in the morning. So I've gotta pull out a fairly early catfish video. Looks like we got some channel cat action. Looks like I'm the only boat out here. I'm gonna shut this backlight off. Woo, look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. Look at it. It's got to weigh at least a pound. That fish has got to weigh at least a pound. I'm going to let him chew on that bait. I'm going to drink some water. Uh oh. Oh, shoot.
That might be a big channel cap. Milton Hill Lake is known for its quality channel cat. It's predominantly a channel cat lake. And I do believe that's a big channel cat. I figured it was a channel cat. I just figured it was a lot smaller than that. Hey, that could be a record. The biggest channel cat in Catfish Dave's boat. Eleven point two. If you are after a bigger channel cat in East Tennessee, wow, he bites hard. Melton Hill Lake is the place to get him. Wow, he bites hard. Mean channel cat. Ow. Ow. Take it easy, bud. Eleven pounds of channel cat. Woo! That's a new boat record channel cat. I could be like Dieter Melhorn and make the title New Boat Record. People will click on that. Catfish Dave gets a new boat record. It's got to be a good one. Well, that's all the action we've had out here on this battlefield. No trophies yet. I messaged Kayak Catfish. He's back up in the creek I wanted to go into. And he ain't getting squat up in there either. So there's no sense in me moving if they ain't doing nothing in the backwaters. Might as well stay right out here on the front lines and see if one of these bigger fish will show their face after all that commotion that was going on earlier. We got an hour and a half before they shut the dam down. That's gonna make everything go souther than it already is. It's pretty far south now. Milton Hill Lake will either make you or break you. I've had some good days on this lake and I've had some bad ones. I'm in a good location. I'm gonna stick it out. You know, when you think back in the olden days, back during the Civil War, you wonder what they ate out there. And I thought about it, and they didn't have electricity. They didn't have no refrigeration. So I'm pretty sure that they ate beanie weenies, because it don't need no refrigeration. That would be my guess. So that's what I'm gonna have out here. They probably had Doritos too, because again, these don't need no refrigeration. That suspended rod is doing something going sideways, it's going sideways. Suspended rod is doing something. Come on, come on, come on, come on, be a flathead, be a flathead. Be a flathead. Be a flathead. Come on, be a flathead. Got something.
bigger than the channel, kid. Yeah. That's got to be a flathead. He's pulling some drag. That's got to be a flathead. Double hooked up. Yep. I got two on. This fish is pulling drag, man. Fish on the right came off. I didn't believe it. He's still pulling drag. Get this line out of the way. Flathead. I got you, bud. Yeah, he's a fat one too, boy. Oh yeah. Ah. Nice heavy fish. I was hooked up over there. I couldn't tend to it. He came off. Oh, that's a nice fish right there, man. Nice fish. That fish that I lost twice in the last video, I'm right over that same spot. Probably him. Ugh.
goes. Wartime catfishing with Catfish Dave. Had a double on there. You can always have a ball in the fall. All right, people. I've got a bit of an east wind picking up. It was a slow bite tonight. And like I said before, Melton Hill Reservoir is predominantly channel cat, then flatheads, then blues. This lake will make you or break you. You're either going to get nothing at all, or you're probably going to get something really good. I have lucked up and got good fish two trips in a row. It is fall, the bite is on. In the summer, I become a zero, but in the fall, I become a catfish hero. Had to endure some gunfire for the first part of the night. I think that's what kind of kept him from wanting to bite. And then finally, we had some silence for a couple hours. And I guess they figured the war was over and they would come out and get him a bite to eat. Right below my feet was a suspended cut of skipjack and that flathead came along and thought he'd have him a snack. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out. Mm -hmm.